a singer and YouTuber is making music history. All right, she just released what's said to be the first album co-written and co-produced by Artificial Intelligence. We have the inside story in tonight's Big Idea Report. Passionate vocals and a pulsating beat, Break Free by Taryn Southern has racked up almost 2 million views. I wish I could see beyond what I can see. And this is Taryn Southern. Her music has put the tech world on notice. What made Break Free unique was that it was, at least to my knowledge, the first song that had not only been composed with AI, but also produced using AI software. Artificial intelligence making music. The AI is making choices around instrumentation, the length of time that it's holding out a note, right? Like all of those little things that you might have a producer make choices around. Why stop at just one song? I thought, all right, this is a fun challenge. I'll make a whole album. <laughs> and that album is the just released I Am AI. I just wanted to see what could I actually make with AI? And can I make it sound good? Make no mistake, Taryn is a real musician and she's worked with humans. When you're working with an algorithm, you have no idea what to expect. There is an element of surprise. And sometimes that surprise is really great. Sometimes it's not so great. But either way, it feels like there's an element of randomness in working with AI that you may not get with a, with a human producer that has a very specific style, very specific kind of vision for a song. To make the album, Taryn used several different types of AI software. One of them is Amper. Amper is an artificial intelligence composer, performer, and producer. Amper has offices in Lower Manhattan. It was created by human musicians. So we build our own data set to inform Amper uh, the fundamentals of music theory, the fundamentals of creativity, of human emotion. Taryn showed us how she used Amper to create Break Free. The song started like this. This is an early render of Break Free. There are some cinematic electronic elements in it that I had added in. I don't have the original, original render, but you can hear the folk elements, the guitar, there's a little banjo in there, some bells, um, a lot of those instruments which I ended up removing for the final track. That became this. So same bells, just sparse, a lot of bass. You're going to hear the chorus. I'll, I'll go to the chorus because what you heard in the beginning of that folk song became the chorus later. I think that this tool for singer songwriters, for people who don't have a produ heavy production background, is really interesting. It's a dramatic change in the creative process, but is that good or bad for creativity? I would argue that change is positive because uh, when you're able to do the same amount of work more quickly, when you're able to do more work in the same amount of time you previously did, you're able to be more successful. In the same way that when we all of a sudden started recording music digitally instead of on analog, we saved a lot of time. AI is, is not a newfangled you know, idea from, from nowhere, it's the next evolution. And Taryn says the technology opens the doors for creators who might never have had a shot at stardom. I can't tell you how many musicians don't end up releasing songs that they've written because they either couldn't find the right collaboration partner or something got, they butted heads in the, in the process. And there's something really valuable for any artist to be able to make something from scratch. More artists, more voices, more songs to be heard. All right, in addition to Amper, Taryn also used AI music programs made by IBM and Google. And don't forget, you can head to our YouTube page to see other Big Idea reports from our entire Fox 5 team.